a tutorial for Iron Project facilitators on how to award certificates. When a participant registers for a course in our Iron Collaboration Center catalog and management tool, it shows up here on their dashboard. Um, just a quick note that all of the project certificates also will show up on our catalog and management tool. And so if I click, I can see which ones I have been awarded certificates before and which ones I um, have not yet. So let's go to one of these projects in the Collaboration Hub. And I can see for me to get the certificate, I must complete an activity. Um, so Iron Project Facilitators can set up certificate completion in a couple different ways. And we're going to take a look at our demo course. Okay. Um, and I see here that I must complete the cumulative project and closing the project reflection activities to get my certificate. So as a facilitator, um, you can mark the student completion and you can set rules. For example, in introductions, I can say a member must complete um, this activity. For, I can do this for each of my activities. Um, alternatively, I can go into a folder and say, you know, I just want them to be able to complete a couple of the discussion activities. So I would go here, add a requirement. A member must either view or post a comment to the poetry activities, and I can hit save the changes. So as a facilitator, you can decide which activities students and teachers must complete before they get a certificate for completing the project. I encourage you to put at least one must complete. Perhaps it is on a closing activity um, where somebody has to reflect on their exchange experience and um, post a comment or reply. If you do not add a must complete, participants will automatically get a certificate when they register for the course. So be sure you have at least one must complete. This will allow participants to automatically get certificates without you having to do anything. But if you want to check in on the certificate administration, you will log in to the catalog and management tool and go to the courses I am teaching section. This will show you your courses that you're teaching. I'm not currently teaching any, so I'm going to just find one in my administrator tool to show you the next step. Okay, we're actually gonna take a look at 3D ideas, or actually, let's go back and do, okay, I can go to the sections. So from your courses I am teaching, you can click view roster, and then you'll see all of your participants and their status. Their status is currently registered. And in this project, after they complete some of the activities, they automatically will turn to completed. But let's say I wanted to manually control this. I can hit roster status and change it from registered to completed so that the participant gets the certificate. So in this way, your participants will automatically get certificates if they do the completed activities, or you may choose to go and change it and, and award them the certificate. All the certificates show on the transcripts page um, where you can go, click on this link, and download a certificate. So for participants, all of their transcripts will always show um, their certificates. It looks like this.